Hello EOS Nation. DAP service providers, or DSPs, will help promote mass scale adoption of decentralized applications or DAPs by introducing a set of technical solutions that make developing on blockchains substantially easier and affordable through the Liquid DAPs DAP network. The DAP network native token, known as DAP, is a multi purpose utility token designed to power an ecosystem of utilities, resources, and services specifically serving the needs of DAP developers building user-centric DAPs. Accessing the EOS Nation DSP portal, you will have access to all DSP offered services shown in a random and unbiased order. Services are listed by list or icons depending on your preference. To log in, click on the login function at the top right of the portal where you are given various options. The DSP portal currently supports scatter and native ledger functionality on desktop and the Lynx, Meet One, and Token Pocket mobile wallets. In this tutorial, you'll notice that Google Chrome is being used. However, you may use Firefox, Edge, Safari, and Opera, as well as Android and iOS mobile browsers. I'm currently using the scatter wallet to access the portal. So once I log in, you'll have access to staking for services. Quickly running through the columns here, we have quota, minimum stake, package period, and unstake period. Note that a quota of one translates to 10,000 transactions. In the first example, you have cron services being offered with a quota of one. So as long as you have a minimum stake of 10 DAP tokens, you're able to stake to this package. As the package period is 24 hours, this quota will refresh every 24 hours. Therefore, in this case, you're given a maximum use of 10,000 transactions per every 24 hour period once the minimum of 10 DAP tokens are staked. The other piece of information that is displayed is the set unstake period, which in this particular case is one hour. You will also have select and details buttons, which we'll go over in just a bit. I'd also like to mention that just because there's a minimum stake to get services, it does not mean that you'll be restricted from staking a lower amount. But being that you would fail to meet the minimum threshold, you would not be able to benefit from the selected service. On the left, you'll be able to see the search and filter functions. You can sort by provider, service, package, quota, or minimum stake. You can also sort by ascending or descending order. On the drop-down menu, you can be specific and just choose a single DSP provider. You can see that the EOS Nation DSP currently offers five different package options covering four services, IPFS, Oracle, Cron, or Stake, and each of them has different specific criteria. You can also narrow your search by filtering by a specific service or set of services. Below this, you'll see that there's a limit filter by Stake quota, or package period. And lastly, the final function is filtering by package status. Those available, selected, and deprecated. Available are online services currently being offered. Selected are those that you've already communicated with and enabled. And the deprecated packages are the packages that are no longer available as the API endpoints are set to null. If we view a package and click on the details on the right, you'll be populated with specific package information. In this case, we have a DSP package from EOS Nation offering Oracle services, a 0.1 quota with a minimum DAP stake of 1,000, which refreshes every 24 hours, and has an unstake period of zero. You are provided with an account name and link, an API endpoint, as well as a populated map showing specifically where the servers are located. Suppose I wanted to use this service. I can simply click on the select button on this details screen, or I can go back to the same listed package and click on the select button. The portal automatically calls for an authentication of the action from my scatter wallet. Now, by viewing your profile, the package you selected is populated. Click on the package, and now being that it has been selected, the Actions button now appears. By clicking Action, you'll be given options for Stake, Unstake, and Refund. 
In order to utilize the selected package, I would need to first stake the minimum required amount for service to be active. In this case, I need 1000 DAP tokens. Going back to your profile, you would now see that your service is now active. The amount of quota you have left. In this case, you can see that I'm still at 100% as I have not used the service at this time. But if I did use the service, this would be very useful information. You're also given the amount of DAP tokens currently staked on the far right. Moving on to the next tab, Providers, you'll see all the organizations currently offering DSP services, the number of packages they have, the number of specific services they share, the amount of earned rewards, total DAP stake, and the percentage of total staked and total user counts. Just as some extra information, rewards are the inflation earned by DSPs by staking into a DSP. The inflation accrued from those DAP tokens are the revenue which DSPs collect and use to pay for the costs of these services. This is very similar to how voting for block producer helps them earn more block rewards. On the next tab, you'll show specific users, provider service and packages, current status, quota, and the total amount of DAP associated in their account. The next tab is V tokens. This is an area which you'd basically look up for your VRAM token balances. And of course, finally, we've got a FAQ page, frequently asked questions. We're currently updating this part of the portal, but we'll have helpful user tips and it'll be updated as time moves along. Going back to the top right profile navigation, you'll also notice a setting button. Settings will have a few options to customize your user experience. For example, auto login, yes or no, preferred view, table or blocks, and notifications for errors, yes or no. Thank you for joining us today navigating our DSP portal. We hope that you find this useful and informative. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below or reach us in Telegram. Thank you and have a great day.